most to doing in the world, which is interviewing people. But being asked about it is such a treat. So I've got here a lot of stuff I've won through pub quizzes. I'm that guy. So <laughs> here is an absolutely massive, massive uh, shape of water uh, poster. Oh, um, and movie. here I have something even more impressive. It's also shape of water. <laughs> that was a great sound. Me and Katie and classmates are off to the student radio conference in Norwich. This year we focus on celebrating diversity, women in radio, and speakers from all the different types of the industry, from podcasting, presenting, tech, imaging and sound, marketing, and so much more. And to come to me, because I have a lanyard and they're sexy, so... <laughs> We've all got lanyards now, it's really... I like lanyards, they're cool. But what we've been trying to do for years is get more and more podcasts involved in the SRA, involved in radio, and we're seeing that happen now. And they've given us a slot opening up this, which is incredible. We've all been involved, myself and Anne have been involved in student radio for years, and we wouldn't be doing what we do without this conference. To get involved uh, with Jason Fibbs just being appointed head of the BBC podcast now, um, and every commercial radio station is picking up on podcasts. So we wanted to bring you some of the biggest names in podcasting, and I'm going to introduce you to you now. So, can I have a round of applause for James Barr? <laughs> James is a comedian, TV, radio presenter, economist, and podcast host. At MTV News, James's updates regularly hit one million views. He's hosted live events in the UK, like Isle of Wight Festival, Brighton, and Manchester Pride. Performed at the prestigious UCB Del Close. Am I saying that right? Yeah. Awesome oh, improv marathon in New York City, as well as hosting hit LGBTQ plus comedy podcast, a gay and a non-gay. And James has also ten years of radio behind him at Capital Heat Radio and Galaxy. Wow, you're really scaring me with that intro. <laughs> <laughs> no pressure. We've got Dan Hudson. Can I have a round of applause for Dan? He's a British radio producer at BBC Radio 1. He has worked with some of the biggest names and still is, including Grimmy, Annie Mack, Charlie, Charlie Sloth, who will be here later, Scott Mills and Greg James. Dan is an expert on rock music as well and is previously the host of the official rock chart on Koran Radio, where he interviewed people like Jared Leto, Courtney Love, Metallica, Rage Against the Machine. I'm immensely jealous. And together they both host and produce a fantastic podcast, A Gay and a Non Gay. So, guys, can you just tell us a little bit about the show? Yeah, absolutely. Well, I'm the gay, and this is the non-gay. <laughs> I don't know why you're laughing, it's not obvious at all. Um, and we uh, started doing a podcast together because my friend Talia is Dan's girlfriend, and she went away uh, on holiday for three months, and she was like, you guys should do a podcast together, it would be really funny. And then we got nominated for a British Podcast Award, and we were like, oh, this is a thing. So at that point we started doing it every week and now we have like a really wonderful little friendship. Aww. <laughs> I really want to be all. <laughs> Affirming nod from Dan as well. But basically we talk about all sorts of differences between uh, gays and non-gays as well as all sorts of other people on the LGBT spectrum or not and we have a really unique insight into um, the rainbow flag being that one of us is in it and the other one isn't part of it. Uh, so yeah, it's fun. We have a lot of fun doing it. We get a lot of like amazingly beautiful DMs and comments from listeners all around the world, uh, which kind of break us a bit in a way. It's kind of shocking. Yeah, it's kind of mad. I guess that's the beauty of podcasts is you can just put something out and then people in like Cuba message you. And so, Russia, yeah, and China um, and places and just say, oh my god, like, I love your podcast. And I think one interview that you did this really well, it was the one with Tom Cruise, right from the beginning. I think we have the clip for that, right? 
So this is an example of going on Tumblr and spending too much time there. So I, I thought to myself, would Tom Cruise ever be asked about those memes? Do you remember when he was hanging off things? But this stuff is to be one. What you, need, you guys need to do, whilst you're paying rapt uh, attention to me right now, is think of great questions which will be letting you ask in a few minutes of me. And the best people, the best, um, the best questions will get gifts. It's not just shaking one stuff sponsored by other films. <laughs> Hey guys, we just came back from the conference. We went to Street Talks, a podcast talk, that entertainment, and how to interview a major star. How to interview a major star was done by Radio One's film critic Alan Plum. Ali Plum. Alan Ali Plum. Yeah. I'm not gonna get that right. Uh, we also went to That's Entertainment. That's done by Lucy Ford. She, I want her job. She interviews so many celebrities. And we also went to a podcast talk. Right now we're in the travel lodge, getting ready for the demo factor. Uh, my name is Don Barrow, and I'm your host for the evening. We're going to have a lovely, lovely time. If you don't know what demo factor is, then allow me to explain. It's very simple. So we're going to play out your demos randomly, one by one. Each demo gets played for a minute, and when the judge has heard enough of your particular demo, they will buzz. When all the judges have buzzed and the demo gets stopped and we give you some feedback. However, there is a caveat to this, and that is this right here, the golden buzzer. The buzzer, I'm touching it, it's okay. We have a word for the golden buzzer. Um, when the golden buzzer gets pressed, then we hear the whole demo, or as much as the judge that pressed it wanted to hear, and that one minute roar goes out the window. Uh, should we crack on? Yes! Welcome, the judges. Yes. The judges. Oh, look at them. Some of the finest minds in radio. Was that, was that camp enough? <laughs> Some of the finest minds in radio and a couple of petty criminals. I'll leave you to decide who is who on the panel. Uh, let's crack on, let's get some demos out straight away. Uh, with me are Sean and Emily. Hi, we're over here. You might have to turn around, I apologise about that. Uh, Sean and Emily are from Heart and Capital, and they're going to help us pick some random demos tonight, and they're also going to be speaking to some of you when your demos have been played out too. 58. <laughs> Some of our classmates. How was the trip down? Oh, it was long. I haven't been up since four and I'm not okay right now. <laughs> <laughs> this can only go well with good luck, everyone. Let's see you at the I can't film it. The song Hoof Daddy by J Class. And it is for one particular line that I love that Hoof Daddy song. Oh, I'm the Hoof Daddy, baby, take a look at me. Now, I'm saying this too often now. It's now become my new vocabulary. It's rather so, annoying, I'll be honest with you. Is it? After a while? So you go on the booth daddy every five minutes. Are you sure? Now, I want to get it into everyone else's vocabulary. I don't want it just to be me that's using it. I want you to be using it. Right, I'm going to give you an example. Perfect time for you, okay? You're at college or you're at work. You're just finishing off. You're thinking, oh, got another hour to go. They just say, you can just leave whenever. As I'm leaving. Oh, I'm the booth daddy, baby, take a look at me. You know what I'm talking about? Yes, 100%. Oh no! Everyone was basically stranded for the last week. I was stuck in my room and I was like, what are we going to do one day? Come, let's leave an idea. And that's it! Let's speak to Pandora, who does kids submit more in terms of the fine presenter Pandora. Welcome back to Demo Factor, your thoughts, please. Thank you very much. Um, hello, babe. I actually really liked that, hence I didn't buzz you out. I liked the fact that you had music passion, you were playing with the music, you were giving us a bit of your personality. I basically just wanted to hear more from you, because I thought, okay, well, what else has he got to say? And I was kind of a bit disappointed that it just ended so abruptly. I was like, what? I really like you. I think that was a quite a strong demo, actually. So I think you should be proud of yourself because it kept me hooked to the end. So well done. <laughs> Jocelyn, thank you for the demo factor. She's head of production for BBC Radio 1, BBC One Extra, and also the Asian Network. Jocelyn, your thoughts on Rebel's demo? You can't really build on what Pandora said. Um, you had Paige to your link. I was looking at um, some of the guys in the audience, and there was a lot of love coming back with what you were saying. So you pulled them into a conversation, and that's really, really important. Um, as I say, it was we were all waiting to hear what came next, and um, I really hope we do get to hear the end of your demo because it was really strong. Okay, round of applause to Rebel. Tom's got great voice for the radio. The, the best thing about when another presenter listens to the radio and they hear something and they go, oh, why didn't I do that? So I'm going to use your Maroon 5 link next time we're on radio. <laughs> I'm going to nick it because it was that good. Um, and you, as corny as it sounds, you talk to me. 
Like, you don't present on the radio, you talk to me as if I'm your friend, as if we're in the pub, and that's a really, really good trait to have. You, do you know what? That was really good. The best demo of the night, definitely, that we've heard. Really good. You've got Brett there, Phil, that's me and Key back from the conference day one. We were just at the demo factor. It was good. Gregor's demo got played out. Yes, that's one of our classmates. Fingers crossed he gets discovered in radio, which he just did. So hopefully quick enough, he'll get a job in radio. Breakfast tomorrow is served at eight. The breakfast is not in the hotel. It's back at the campus where the conference is. The campus of the university is 20 minutes away up by bus. The university just feels like it's in the countryside in the hotel in the big city of Norwich so it feels like so far away in distance um, but yeah that's been um, day one of the conference the student radio conference there were three talks we went to there was demo factor and tomorrow is going to be Brex breakfast and so a few more talks and the student awards we hopefully to win one of the student radio awards we've got two nominations for city radio so Fingers crossed we're gonna win one. If not, okay, we got nominations. That's good enough for me. If you're just about to go to bed right now, or you like watching this video, give it a thumbs up, comment below, and subscribe. Tell me if you ever been to a student conference radio or put into your demo into a demo factor. I don't know if I'll ever do that. Um, possibly the next uh, student radio conference of 2019 may be in Manchester. So watch out, guys. Um, I mean, there are not, but if you're in Manchester watch out for the student radio conference and yeah go and check it out day two coming soon